Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, look what just came in. The other two rails. Uh, this came directly from China. And uh, it's kind of strange because they, they package their, their stuff a little bit differently. Um, sometimes I've gotten boxes, but uh, for the most part in these rails, they always come in this sort of... Uh, it looks some kind of a, a weaved cloth. It's like a netting. And then they they wrap these up with actual rope. Um, I don't know if I can in the trash. Let me show you the rope. See, that's the rope that they that they wrap it up with. Very interesting way to to package their stuff. But uh, I guess that's so it wouldn't um, spread apart and then have a chance on ripping the the netting. I don't know. But it seems logical to me. Anyway, the, the, the last two rails have shown up, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install them. And I'm going to take a little bit of video of the, uh, the install process, um, some drilling, some tapping. Um, I don't know if you find that interesting or not. Maybe not. Uh, I might just come back when I've got everything uh, back together. Um, there's also something else that I wanted to show you, and I'm going to edit here real quick, and uh, we'll come back in just a second. All right, so uh, we went to uh, Lowe's this morning, and uh, this is another part of the shop that you guys rarely get to see. Um, now, we already had uh, some benches that were, you know, the benches, I think, were about four feet or maybe five feet. Uh, no, six feet um, in length, but uh, you know, and they were butted up against each other, and they were um, they were taking up space, and there was a lot of stuff on it, and it didn't have enough um, surface area to do any kind of real work. So uh, we went to Lowe's this morning, and we got these uh, two plywood uh, pieces. And they, they are, we bought them as eight foot by four foot sections and I cut uh, a foot off of each piece. So now they are eight foot by, um, eight foot by three feet. And they extend from down on this corner of the shop all the way down to that corner down there, um, which is the entrance. So anyway, uh, this gives me an incredible amount of surface area to do uh, assembly work and this will really help me out. Um, before I was having to do assembly back in the other part of the shop where there's very very limited uh, space. But as you can see all the bends, the, the, excuse me, the bins that have all the parts in them um, and uh, believe it or not that's not all the parts. <laughs> Uh, there's uh, quite a bit more left to do, um, but here are the, you know, a, a lot of the side plates we still have more to do, and the pedal arms, still quite a bit more to do. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good addition to, to the shop. This will definitely give me uh, a lot more room for assembly. Okay guys, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking some stuff apart and then um, I'm going to do all the drilling and tapping off camera because uh, that stuff is incredibly boring. Uh, at least to me it is. Um, but I'll come back when the next two set of rails is installed and uh, we'll do some, we'll, we will do some uh, accuracy testing. Now, what I mean by that is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to take this piece of metal off and I'm going to clamp it to the gantry riser. And then I'm going to put a dial indicator attached to the gantry riser and measure this surface right here for... Um, I don't know if you'd call it run out or if you just just call it, uh, I'm just testing the accuracy of this surface compared to these rails. The gantry is attached to these 
which is attached to the rails. And this is a machined surface. So this should be square uh, with the entire assembly. And also the opposite side is also machined. Um, and these, uh, these 8020 extrusion pieces are a set distance. So I know that uh, this is parallel with this surface. So these two surfaces are parallel. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the rails follow this machined surface as close as possible. Um, I'm likely to get some variation in the beginning because um, all I did was slap it on there and I had to align it, I just aligned it with this with the edge of this groove right here and uh, that seemed to be okay and, and you know you can push this uh, back and forth um, and it, it, it rides perfectly smooth but uh, I, I still want to make sure that we get it as accurate as possible so I'm still going to measure um, the rails against this machine surface so alright guys we will be back in the next part uh, I will come back and after that, you should see a fully assembled, uh, fully assembled setup, and we'll start doing some accuracy testing. All right, guys, we will see you next time.